morning. Uh, we left Albany this morning and headed towards Denmark to do the, we're doing like the treetop walk thing. Valley of the Giants, it's cool. Yeah, just past Denmark. Yeah. And we thought we'd stop at Elephant Rocks on the way. And Green's Pool. So yeah, we'd get to check that out too. We also saw a few signs on the way here um, of a few wineries and an alpaca farm and a cheese factory. So we may look at doing those after we've finished at the Valley of the Giants, but Maybe. we're not sure. We'll right. figure it out. Yeah. We just went down for a look at the Elephant Rocks and now we're just back at Green's Pools and it's a pretty incredible area. One of the best spots in Australia for sure. There's a fella out there having a snorkel. Like on a perfect day this would just be like, like insane but even on a day like today it's a bit windy. It's still be awesome. It's so nice. It's such a cool spot. You got anything to add? <laughs> Not really, except <laughs> if it wasn't windy, I'd probably go swimming. Yeah, I know, it's, it's pretty chilly at the moment, actually. Yeah. Uh, as we say that, wearing our singlets. If we weren't coming back in the full drive in like a few months in summertime, I'd definitely be jumping in now. Oh, yeah, that just because I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to lose the opportunity to do it. But yeah, we're coming back and it's going to be nice and hot, yeah. and I'm, I'll be straight in there. We've, uh, we've just reached the Valley of the Giants. We're just in the car park, having a bit of lunch. And um, Charlotte's in there cooking up some noodles and I've been banished outside to eat me banana because she doesn't, she hates the smell of bananas. So I get stuck out here. She gets to stay in the nice van. Oh, it's starting to freak out a little bit. I'm not Nah. This actually this moves around a little bit too, the walkway. Do a bit of bungee jumping off this. Pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Oh. No, please don't do that. That's not funny. I'll never cook you dinner again. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> Do you reckon, Charlotte? You rate it? Not for $21. <laughs> Not for $21. Price tag, a little bit steep. <laughs> I'm inside of a tree. Unreal. Yeah, this, this, is the coolest part. this one is pretty big actually. Walking through the old tree. So, as Charlotte's known to drive, I've been driving her the whole day. I thought she'd drive for a little bit. And she's driven us straight to the winery. <laughs> it's a brewery as well, and a cidery. There you go. Three years. Like some sort of hidden talent, she just finds them. There you go. Woo! Good morning. We are just leaving Denmark now and we're on our way to the bicentennial tree. It's um, a 75 metre tall tree that you can climb. It's got like pegs all the way up to the top. I'm probably not going to do that because I do not like heights, <laughs> but Matt's going to try and conquer it. Okay. So it's about two hours from where we are, so we'll film once we get there. What are you say? Oh, well, we've just told everyone that we're going to try and I'm going to try and do it. So. Yeah, so now you have to. Yeah. Um, so if you see a view from the top, it's Matt, not me. I probably <laughs> there's a there's like a first platform that you can make it to. I'm gonna try and push myself to make it to the first platform, but I'm not 
sure how we're gonna go. And also, the weather was supposed to be rainy today, but it's really nice. So we've lucked out a bit. I think it's yeah. supposed to rain a bit later this the, afternoon. The rain keeps getting pushed back. Like every time we look at the radar, it's like the next day and the next day. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. That's good. It can keep getting pushed back. So we've lucked out a bit and yeah, it's not supposed to rain maybe until this afternoon, but who knows, we'll see. All right, we've just rocked up to the bicentennial tree. Um, to the car park. I haven't actually found the tree yet. To the left. Tray, to the left. Um, yeah, cool area. These forests are like wicked. Driven through a bunch of them. Oh, that's the tree. Oh my goodness. Holy Look at the first. Shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did you just say? That is insane. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. How is that? Like, I don't understand. Like, that's it's, insane. It appears safe. No, it does not. That's a big tree. Oh my goodness. Holy I'm just going to go shit. and see what it feels like. Tree climbing risk. Do not wear thongs. 65 or a meters above the ground. That is ridiculous. Do not wear thongs. Right, Charlotte's made it almost <laughs> to the top. I can't do this. Jesus, it's supposed to um, rain later as well in like an hour or two. They're so far apart, like that's, that's a problem as well. If they weren't as far apart, I'd be alright, but like, I feel like I can just fall straight through that. That's pretty insane. Holy, this is that sketchy, eh? Alright, I'm done. That is so sketchy. <laughs> oh man. Could easily fit straight through those bars. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I could just wheel. <laughs> a bit bendy too, eh? Oh my god. I really want to do it though. Like, I really do, but I don't. Have fun. Alright. See you at the first platform, I guess. I've just made it to the first platform, and this is insane. This is terrifying. Oh my god. That's the ladder. It feels crazy high. There's Charlotte. Oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> Made it to the, the second platform. We're real high now. This is like the sketch, one of the sketchiest things I've ever done, I reckon. I think from here on, we're in ladders, which is a bit nicer. It still goes up a fair way. Um, yeah, the wind's starting to pick up too. So I need to hurry up, get to the top and get back down. Oh, scary. I made it to the top. The Gloucester tree, not the Gloucester tree, the free, the bicentennial tree. It's like, yeah, 75 meters or something. Insane. Holy shit. Excuse me. Gotta go all the way back down too. I brought, brought this up as like a bit of a celebration, but I didn't realize how scary it was gonna be, so I'm not gonna drink that up here. I'm bloody gapping it straight back down. Matt conquered the bloody bicentennial tree. Alright, we're um, back in the car now. Charlotte's driving for a bit and we're heading to Augusta. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's too far away and we're probably just going to find somewhere there to camp for the night. And it's, sort of close. it's kind of close to the Margaret River. Yeah, we're around that area. Getting very close to the Margaret River. Yeah. So might, I think we might be looking at doing a winery tour the next or oh, hopefully maybe when the weather gets a bit better it's supposed to be rainy for a few days but the weather has not been very accurate <laughs> so we'll see also just forgot to mention um even if you don't want to climb the bicentennial tree you should still it's still worth going for a look just to put it into a better perspective because the cameras don't don't do it justice i don't feel um it's pretty crazy same day just made it to our camp spot um, I'm driving again because Charlotte's getting a bit wild on the roads, running over bloody tree branches. I couldn't see anything because the rain was like belting on the car yeah. and I don't have the best vision as it is. So I ran over this big massive stick and Matt's like, did you not see that? I was waiting for her to go around it or something. No, I did not see it at all. So Straight we swapped over, but we were only 20 minutes away from yep. Augusta when we so. swapped. But yeah, yeah we've, we've pulled into... Nice little dirt patch. <laughs> We're getting good at finding dirt patches. Yeah. 
It's like the overflow boat trailer car park or something, but I don't think anyone's going out in their boat, so... So we'll be here, yep. camping. That's it. This is the spot. I'll see you later. Alright, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at what we do on a rainy day. We've had a few, got a few rainy days coming. Um, we don't really do a lot. Well, we try and use... We try and do stuff. We try and use rainy days for... Um, washing. We did that yesterday. So we did that yesterday. It was also raining. Rainy day yesterday. And food shopping, which we did today. Okay. Shall I got some spaghetti bowl. Spaghetti and meatless balls. I'm so excited. Uh, the whole time we've been on this trip, all I've wanted is like spaghetti bolognese, but Matt doesn't really like spaghetti bolognese. So oh, I got this. I don't, not, I don't, I've just had it like a million times. So that's cooking in the microwave. And then I was watching YouTube, but I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to have some soup and bread. The soup's in there. And then I'm probably going to make a coffee as well, just because, I don't know, why and not? And then we're going to go back to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Good morning. Um, it's Wednesday morning. We just left the Margaret River and came down a little track to Quinn... Quinn up Falls or something, it's got a weird name. And we're just gonna go for a walk, try and get to it. It's like it's sunny. two two Ks each way. Yeah, it's sunny. Very nice. Oh, there's the ocean. Haven't seen that for a few days, so mm -hmm. should be good. A few little kangaroos hanging out. Just jumped out of the bush and scared the absolute yeah. daylight out of me. Jumped straight across in front of Charlotte. <laughs> well, we made it. It's... Not, as, not as spectacular as we thought. No, not at all. I was hoping, well, it's been raining like the past couple of days. Thought this thing would be pumping. It's actually quite small. The water everywhere. Yeah, it is. Like, it's nice and green. It's a pretty little area, but. But now, there's not much like of a, swimming hole. a massive sand dune. Two massive sand dunes. Yeah. We have to walk back up. Yeah. For this. Oh, oh well. well, it's better than you know what? It's better than us being stuck in the van when it's raining. I'd yeah. rather this than being stuck. Well, there you go. I'm gonna the remember van. that. Oh, got a film you. now. Hold you to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so slippery. Sinking in, getting bogged. Yeah. Get the winch going. Standing other people's footprints. Yeah, that's the trick. Oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. After this one, you've only got one or two more. Oh, two more dunes to go. We finished the walk. Wasn't too long. Uh, it was um, four k's. Four, yeah, four kilometers. Took us about an hour and a half, but we were stopped at the waterfall for probably tw twenty minutes. Yeah, we were chatting. Chatting to a few people, people yeah. which was nice. The um, sand dunes. They, the only reason why they're hard to get up is because they're like boggy. So like I was, yeah, like I was struggling to like every time I s stepped, my foot would slip because. We just the, all the sand would cl collapse under me, but that's okay. The walk was nice. The view, walking along like sort of the cliff yeah, to the water, the water the was nice. Um, nice. And now we're going to go to the aquarium. It's uh, well known in WA, so I've I've heard and seen a lot of people go there. Yeah. So we're going to go there and have a look. Hopefully, and it is yeah pretty sunny still. So <laughs> it's a sunny day. So might, hopefully, might brave the waters. I yeah, don't know. hopefully we can go in, but maybe we can just like push ourselves to go in. Maybe we'll see. Maybe. All right, we've made it as far along as the road as you can come. Um, there's the van, we just got the towers there and out because they were still a bit wet from all the rainy days. And I think it's about a 10 minute walk from here. And we packed, we packed a bit of swimming stuff. Just, just in case. It's still a bit chilly, but I don't know. It is actually also a bit rough out there. But if it's protected enough, I'll probably jump in, have a look. Oh, and because the, the screen's cracked on the back of this GoPro, but we also picked up a waterproof case the other day, so we can um, we can film underwater again. <laughs> this is the stuff that you don't see in the videos. Us trekking along, trying to trying to get trying to get to the magical spots. It's a pretty gnarly track. It is. We only brought thongs. We didn't think it was going to be that bad. Oh well. Well, we've been walking for a while now. <laughs> the track's a bit weird. It's like yeah, not it's... going the right way. It's kind of weird. I know, it's pretty weird. But anyway, uh, I think that's like the aquarium bit down there. But the big waves and stuff are still like crashing into it. 
So we might just turn it back. Yeah. I think. Well, it's just it's just hard because like we don't know how long the track's gonna go for. When yeah. we were back at the car, it said it was a ten minute walk, but we've been walking now for eighteen minutes, <laughs> and mm. we haven't. I don't even think we've made it halfway. So I don't know. It's a bit strange, but yeah. that's right. We had a look. Even yeah. Ah <laughs> oh, well. Yeah.